Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review and we are heading off to Audi once again and it's a beer from the Hop Foundry and it's another one of them World Cup beers if you like and I've picked up the England 66 a traditional English lager, it's coming in at 4%, it's in a 440ml can, cost around 149 179 something like that. There were no prices, I just picked them up because I thought that'd be interesting to do, just with the World Cup theme really. Uh, artwork is, I don't know, I kind of like it, but it kind of has a cheap tacky feel to it. Uh, English lager, it's not like English lagers really, you know. They call it an English lager, but there's not really anything to boast about, is there, with an English lager? English brewed lager is a different kettle of fish, but an English lager, they don't tend to be great, do they? Anyway, stop waffling. Let's get this review out of the way before the game starts. I've got a pizza in the oven because I'm feeling a bit peckish. So, yeah, glass at the ready. Let's crack it open and get going. Hope you're all well. I expect there's going to be... Several of it, several, several of you watching the game, no doubt. So you probably won't see this until, well, after the game, really. Tomorrow, even. Could even be when England are knocked out, but hopefully that ain't going to be the case. So I wasn't massively impressed, to be honest, with the German coach. It was a bit German style coach, shall we say. It's a bit rough around the edges. Hopefully this will be better, but I'm not expecting it to be. And to be honest, I love this glass. This is a great glass for lagers. But I think it's a bit of an insult to put this beer in this glass and I haven't even tasted it yet. I'm just assuming. So there's gentle bubbles going up. Always creates nice little bubbles, this glass. There's literally just a dusting of quite spacious white head on top. Uh, doesn't make it massively appealing. It's sort of straw in colour. Let's do the old screen so I like having a look. It's, you know, it's a clear straw, golden sort of colour really. Uh, looks like a lager, but without the head. So let's dive in on the nose. I'm not, you know, what's it saying on the back here? Lovingly brewed with just four ingredients and long matured for a further flavour. Light, crisp and refreshing. Okay. Let's dive in on the nose because you don't get any of the hop stuff, do you? On these cans and see what we get. Yeah, it's light, it's got that typical, has got that typical sort of English lager sort of thing in there. There's a little bit of a, a lemon twang on the nose. I swear I'm going to sneeze in a minute, so I do apologise. Yeah, sort of clean. Lemon, oh, excuse me but that typical English lager sort of smell. Anyway, stop waffling. Let's dive in on the England 66 lager from Hop House, no, the Hop Foundry, I should say, Audi. Cheers. Four percent. You're not expecting a massive body. Let's be honest. It's an Audi's beer as well. It's very light. No wateriness there. It is quite busy in the mouth as well with the carbonation. I mean, but look at that. It's not. This glass is fantastic. I'm telling you, these glasses are fantastic for beers. And, and they really do sort of keep a head and but for me but I'm struggling to even get a head on that by giving it a good swirl it's literally nothing so I'm going to say that's really down to the quality of the beer reasonably smooth reasonably soft can't really complain there There is a hoppy bite to it. You do get that little bit of sort of, maybe a spicy kick to it. No malt there for me. It, it's it's very much a sort of hoppy sort of lager. It's 
spicy bite. Very, very, very minimal sort of citrus note in the background. It's quite boring to be honest. I mean, although I'm picking some of these flavours up. It's marginally, marginally better really than than really sort of something like Carlin or St. Kate's. It's nothing overly nasty there. In all fairness. But it's all a little bit bland. The flavour, that hot bite, sort of spicy, peppery sort of note, if you like, is there, but it's short lived. It's in your mouth, within a second it's gone. Uh, and there's nothing really going on with the beer. I mean, cats, will you piss off? Excuse me. Uh, there's nothing really going on. For somebody who likes a decent lager, or anyone out there that likes a proper decent lager, it's not going to appeal to you. You may be going to notice the same sort of notes I have. But if you're somebody that just, you know, drinks bog standard lagers and want to try it, yeah, give it a go. You may well like it, but I mean, for me, it's certainly nicer than the Kolsch, the German one, but yeah. <clears throat> But are you really going to pay £1.80 for a lager that is maybe slightly better than some of the massive brewed stuff that you can pick up? I don't know. That's going to be down to personal taste. But uh, yeah, for me, Hot Foundry, England 66, better than the German one, in my opinion. But it's not going to set your world alight. And like I say, I'm not sure what I paid for it. £1.49, £1.79. Uh, it's up to you really isn't it uh, I suppose a lot of standard beers you're going to be paying 149 for in a four pack you know you're paying what five six quid for something like Carlsberg or something yeah it's maybe a bit better than that but I don't know I don't know I'll leave it up to you if you see it up to you give it a try if you've had it before let me know what you think feel free to comment thank you all for watching Hope you've enjoyed it. Now I'm definitely going to leave you for the night because I'm definitely going back to watch football. Got to keep an eye on me bloody pizza as well. I'll see you again soon on another one and enjoy the football. Cheers.